Welcome back to the channel. Right, um, I think it's quite appropriate that uh, before I get on with this video today that I pay my respects uh, to Queen Elizabeth II who sadly passed away yesterday, the 8th of September 2022. God bless her. Um, I can't remember a time when she wasn't my queen. She's always been the queen. Uh, my earliest memory of school was the Silver Jubilee back in 1977, I do believe. That's one of my earliest memories of school anyway, uh, where we got the silver coin, which I've long since lost. I mean, I'm not the biggest royalist, I won't lie, but I think she done a stellar job. Um, with all the scandals the last couple of years with Andrew and Epstein and Harry and Meghan and all of the stuff, she held her head high. Um, and she'd done 70 years. 70 years and 214 days, actually. Um, quite an incredible lady. And she will be sadly missed. It's going to take a little bit of time for me to get used to saying, God save the king, because I've never had to say it. Um, like I said, I'm not a big royalist anyway. Um, I hope, wish Charles all the best. Um, does concern me that he's part of the World Economic Forum and all of that, but... All that aside, um, Queen Elizabeth II, amazing lady. Um, she was to become queen in 1952, if I'm right. Um, that's something else, isn't it, to reign that long. She's the longest serving monarch, as far as I'm aware. But anyway, God bless your mum, wherever you are, rest in peace. Right. Before I get on to the exciting news, I'll let you know about the Bob Dylan vinyl collection that I've been doing. I've got issue 23 now. Bob Dylan's Infidels, but alas, in good old fashioned Diagostini style, we got a sticker and it says, Dear customer, unfortunately, I can hear it. <laughs> We have experienced shipping delay, which has affected the sale of issue 24 of the Dylan Vinyl, the definitive collection, yada, yada, yada. As a result, we will publish the next issue as follows. Issue 24 will be on sale on the 21st of September, 2022, which is three weeks after issue 23. This one, it's a couple of weeks here. Further issues, then, Return to being on sale fortnightly. We apologise and yada, yada, yada. I'm not sure I believe them really because I've had one of these stickers on the last four LPs and they say after this next one that's going to take three weeks or whatever it is, it's going to go back to normal and it hasn't done. So, impressive, Diagostini. Yeah, ain't my news agent. He's been getting them in as soon as they send them out. So... A slow, unimpressive clap. Now, but we do have some good news. Uh, a couple of videos ago, I mentioned um, there was whispers of Revolver. Well, it's been made official. Um, and on October the 28th, Revolver will be released worldwide. And this sounds amazing. Right, I'm going to have to read it. So excuse the glare on me glasses, guys. I'm sat in my office. Kind of cool in here, isn't it, actually? I quite like it. But um, you do get, when you're looking at monitors, and I often see it on people's videos, where they're reading the news off the uh, screens, you get the... you see that? It's not as nice, is it? But, hey, it is what it is. Anyway, right. The Revolvers albums, 14 tracks, have been newly mixed by Giles Martin and engineer Sam O'Kell in stereo and Dolby Atmos uh, and the album's original mono mix is sourced from the 1966 great year, year I was born and the year we won the World Cup mono master tapes <laughs> I didn't get the mono box set when it was out I know many of you did but it's way out of my price range now 
and I really like to see them do this. Um, Revolver's sweeping new additions follow the universally acclaimed remix and expanded special editions of Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band, uh, which was 2017, which we have. Um, the Beatles' White Album, 2018, which is up there on the shelf. Abbey Road, 2019. Box it up there on the shelf, and as well as Let It Be 2021, which was incredible, which is also up there on the shelf. This is exciting news, guys. Revolver, my favourite Beatle album. Right, what else does it say? Right. The all-new Revolver release features album's new stereo mixes sourced directly from the four-track master tapes. The audio is brought forth in a stunning clarity with the help of the cutting-edge demixing technology developed by the award-winning sound team led by Emil Delaray at Peter Jackson's Wingnut Film Productions. I could almost burst. How exciting is this? The physical and digital super deluxe collections also features the album's original mono mix. That to me is music to my ears. Um, 28 early takes from the sessions and three home demos and a four track EP. Oh, how cool, right? With new, this is paperback writer and rain, of course. We knew that. I mean, I, I know some people wish they'd put them on the album, but I'm really not fussed. Um, uh, so it says la, 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 la. new stereo mixes and remastered original mono mixes of paperback writer and rain. The album's new Dolly Atmos mixes will be released digitally. Now, I've already listened to Taxman, and I like it. I've only listened to it once. Because I only found out this this morning. I literally just got back from the Isle of Wight. I finally, you know, my friend passed away in 21. Um, we finally spread his ashes where he wanted down in Cornwall or Devon and the Isle of Wight. So we finally done that. So literally I got back, um, went out to work. I'm thinking about starting this new job. And then last night with the Queen, that blew up. So I've only gone on YouTube today and found out that a couple of days ago this was released. So I'm a little bit behind. Sorry about that, people. But, you know, it is what it is. But I needed to put this on there because this is definitely my favourite. It's my favourite Beatle album. There's no getting away from it. Anyway, so I've had a listen to Taxman once this morning and I really liked it. I need to put it on my headphones. And I'm gutted that I can't listen to it on my speakers in the front room. Um, because I've got it's all analog in there. Uh, there's no digital apart, well, CD, I guess. But I think I've even got that phono plugs. So anyway, right, I'm rambling on. I'm a little bit excited about this, so please excuse it. Right, so the suit, the deluxe vinyl edition, right, is a four LP plus a seven inch EP uh, with a hundred page hardback book in a slipcase. And apparently it's exactly the same. You don't get no extras on the CD like you did with the previous ones. And I like this idea. I really, really do. So we've obviously got LP1, which is Revolver. Now, I heard it was Half Speed Master, but you've got seven tracks. And then you've got seven tracks on side two. So I don't exactly know how that works. Maybe one of you might know. Drop it in the comments. But obviously we've got Revolver, the new stereo mix. Can't wait to listen to that. Right, and then we've got um, LP2 and LP3 uh, are sessions. So we've got sessions one and sessions two. Right, and you've got all different versions of Love You Too, Got to Get You Into My Life, the second version, um, Tomorrow Never Knows, Mono Mix, oh, all different gems, gems. And then we've got uh, LP4, Revolver, Original Mono Masters. Yes. You really don't know how happy I am about that. This is going to sound fab. It really is. And then obviously you get the EP, which is Paperback Writer, the new stereo mix, as well as Rain, this new stereo mix. And then you've got Paperback Writer, original mono mix remastered. And the same with Rain. How excited is that? Right, I do think it's going to be pricey. I think it was about 160 quid, which is a little bit of an ouch. It's a Beatles. I've got... It's a must. It's We're going to have to proper save our coppers up for this one. 
but it's a must and it, it looks amazing i've put a little picture of it here so you can kind of see what it's going to look like obviously i'm looking forward to having a play as well as having a little look through the books because this was a the beatles going into their really cool era 66 on it really they looked look at the back of the album guys look how cool they looked oh this is such good news this is bloody good news on top of the queen sad news yesterday this is a put a smile on your face stripey nose like i said it's going to be a little bit expensive it's going to be a little bit of an ouch the end of october you know but um totally worth it totally worth it this is going to be hours of fun um listening to this so yeah have a look on youtube i'll put a link to the tra i'll put a trailer link to the uh the remix down below as well as a link to taxman which is already out now i'm gonna have another play with that while i'm putting these files onto my computer and doing the thing that i do um i'm gonna have another player uh i'm gonna have another player taxman but um how exciting is this so you have got the options of the cds same as before you can buy the single lp and you can buy the single cd if that's the way you want to do it if money's too tight to mention which i totally get everybody's struggling that i know pretty much um but this is good news now i hope they follow this with the mono thing on the future uh beatle remasters or remixes whatever giles martin and sam O'Kell. i really really do rubber soul and all that because like i said i would love to have some of these earlier albums and some of these middle albums in mono as well but i just can't justify buying that box it is so expensive um but this is it this is exciting because we're going to get the new mix love them or hate them I personally have really enjoyed them so far. I think the last one, Let It Be, probably is the best of the lot. Although I remember listening to Pepper and thinking, oh my days, this is amazing. Um, Taxman definitely had a little bit more bass to it. Um, oh, and the separation just was inc it's incredible. Uh, so yeah, really, really excited about this. Right, he probably had enough of Stripey getting excited in his bloody office, so... Uh, I'm going to wind this down, guys. But um, let me know what you think down below. Are you excited about this? October the 28th. Bring it on. Oh, so good. Right. I'm going to love, love you and leave you, guys. Um, it's Friday. Have a great weekend. Um, I'll be back with another ramble real soon. Much love. I'll speak to you soon. Bye.